Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, the big news today is still, or should we say the not so big news is Wienergate continues and no, they have not found a bomb in Palin's, what was that? Mel. Well, that's probably a good thing. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and, uh, yes, Ariana Huffington is back in the news. Well, I see, like, that, there's a, uh, that she really didn't have the right to sell Huffington Post to AOL because it's owned by stockholders. People that basically invest in the company so she could keep it going. And it's not that they want that they're not getting a fair return for their money. They just aren't going to get any return because AOL is going under. They said the checks the they said the check from AOL isn't worth the paper it's written on, uh, because the company bleeds money. So what you want to do is pay them three hundred fifty. Where are they going to get the three hundred fifty million? Yeah. They don't have three hundred fifty million. She just wanted to be associated with AOL. So. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. So. Was the Huffington Post buying AOL then? I, I don't know. They said that they that one of the people I was listening to the news. They said one of the people involved with it said we could probably buy AOL for three hundred and fifty million if we had three hundred and fifty million, which shows you that they don't have they have no resources whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And Obama says people need to be patient about the economic recovery and that training workers for manufacturing jobs will help with the turnaround. I know. Here's a. I know we got our pop up Obama. That's Mr. Jack in the box, Obama, because it's a clown statement, folks. He's going to he's going to create he wants to create one million new manufacturing jobs in green manufacturing, which is all setting in China. Uh huh. Which basically they asked him this morning the million dollar question: Where are you going to? Where, where are the factories? Well, will the private sector will build the factories if they know they have the workers? And they pointed out once again, which pissed off Obama, uh, there's 16 million unemployed people now. They already have the workers that can do the end. Well, they said that the government will help these businesses turn green. And they said, where are you going to get the money? Well, Congress knows that they have to do this to help get the economy going because of all the damage that George Bush and the Republicans did. And they said, George Bush and the Republicans only want to help the rich. And then they also put, they got the last question was, they want to cut the budget. That's not helping the rich. And they said, well, they want to lower taxes on the wealthy. <laughs> they, there's nothing about, everybody knows that. <laughs> that was his last statement. They want to lower taxes on the wealthy. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> right. And the most, well, you know, part of it is, is there's been a lot of new taxes added to the wealthy. Oh, yeah. They, uh, listen, to one guy said 60% of his income goes out in taxes every week. He may have to sell, this is a guy, on. this is one of their people, folks. He may have to sell his home in New York and move to another state, which means he will lose his job in New York because he needs to be a New York resident because he can't afford the taxes in New York. Ooh. Yeah, I said, you know, on my side, I make a lot of money, but when you take 60% of it out in taxes, I don't make any money anymore. Mm-hmm. And lots of Palin. No bombshells are releasing emails. Well, that's, that's what everybody knew. Only the Democrats thought that they could get something. I mean, I mean, asking people to go through her emails for her. I got a thing from, i put it this way, I got a thing from the Democrats today asking me to go through the Sarah Palin mm -hmm. emails to help them, you know, because we need all the eyes that we can have looking at the emails to find the things that would be destructive to our nation. What? That this woman is a, they said that this woman would be destructive to our nation and we have to make certain that we know as much about her as we possibly can. Well, isn't it a great thing from Democrats? You know, part of it is if they didn't uncover it before when she was, what, the vice presidential nominee when everybody descended upon Alaska, they're not going to find they, it. They out. think they're going to find something. They said <laughs> all they found out was the reason why she resigned because of all of the attacks on her family. Mm -hmm. The emails have a consistent thread that they're t they're even attacking a kid with Down syndrome on a on a daily. Basically, she condemned people like Lano and Letterman and Bill Maher mm -hmm. for the for the attacks on the children. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they also have the personal apologies, not from Lano and, and from Letterman, their staff, but from their staff saying that they. Uh, the, they went, the, the, the jokes went too far when they started going after the little girls. The teenagers were open territory. You know, the ones 18 uh, over, they're open territory, but not little kids. Well, see, part of it is usually when they're in for political offices, you don't go after the kids. 
the uh, Democrats do, because remember, the Democrats are playing Chicago politics, which <laughs> is basically smear, slander, and destroy. And Australia Prime Minister faces toughest test on carbon tax. And this is, I mean, you think that it, you think that this is a clown? They, they've three great prime ministers have been thrown out of office because they want a carbon tax. So the newest one wants to raise a carbon tax. Mm -hmm. I mean, like uh, they, that Kate Blanchard basically almost got, her and Russell Crowe almost got stoned on a stage. We have to do this because we have to save the economy. Well, by shutting down businesses, save the economy. Uh, they and they also pointed out, well, Russell Crowe and Blanchard don't actually live in Australia. Oh, yeah. Well, stock market plummets for six consecutive week. Uh, I don't understand why people are not hiring because there's not they're they're sitting on trillions of dollars, and if they don't start spending the money, we're going to have to do something to either force them to spend the money or give the money to the government so we can create jobs. Mm -hmm. um, they, they can't do that, folks. They're not going to... Obama can do a lot of things, but he cannot go and seize the money out of your bank account. Well, actually, the government can't seize the money out of your bank account. They have personal knowledge about it. Germany's, More than once, and they weren't the tax people. <laughs> Germany's costly decision to give up nuclear power. Uh, they have no means of replacing it. None. There is no... The reason they're using nuclear power is because Envi European environmental laws prohibit them from building plants that would use carcinians in it. Oh, is that why? Oh, here's a good one. So what know. are they going to do for power then? They're not. It's going to basically going to hurt the country. But before we came, before we came, it's on the news. The uh, the the Health and Human Services is now getting ready to declare styrofoam and uh, and formaldehyde products as a carcinogen and therefore prohibit its use. Well, guess what formaldehyde is used for? It's used in plastics, folks. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, and then one of the people said this morning, well, since Obama hates petroleum products, you know, and doesn't want them used anyway, but that means no McDonald's, no fast food restaurants, no takeouts, nothing anymore. Well, they were trying to get rid of that, remember? Yeah, well, now that's basically another attack on business. They said this will put, I had one guy said, oh, I won't do more than maybe put 10 or 11 million people out of work. Yeah, only 10 or 11 million. Yeah, but he's going to make people healthy. Of course, when you're eating sawdust like they are in North Korea, it's not making you healthy. <laughs> Kansas City Girl 5 may face murder charges and drowning. A five-year-old? Yeah, because this is how far, how bad the justice system is getting. That they would consider, even consider putting a baby on trial for uh, an accidental, they don't know, uh, so they, they push off, they, Okay, little girls have a tendency to try to drown their brothers to begin with, so one of them actually did it. But if they don't know, okay, the rule is if you, so it used to be if you don't know right from wrong, you couldn't be tried. They're five years old. But today, you don't even have to have witnesses to crimes to, tr to bring uh, murder charges and convict people today. So. Yeah, but remember, if somebody was breaking into your house and they got hurt, they you can, would be charged. You go to jail because they, I mean, uh, they're basically, uh, the ACLU is sticking up for the criminal and not for the victim. I mean, that's horrible. Yeah. One dead and four others wounded in Brooklyn boardwalk shooting. Yeah, uh, because the, uh, it, it, oh, oh no. Um, crime is down under my administration. Mm -hmm. Of course, unless you happen to be living in any city in the United States. Mm -hmm. And deadly fungus strikes Joplin tornado survivors and volunteers. Yeah, what happened is the, uh, something that had been setting under the soil came when, the, when everything had been torn up, clearing everything out. It came to the surface, and every the people are dying from it, folks. Really? There's no immunity against it. And fly fishermen and fashionistas fighting over feathers. It's got to be the most asinine. Do you realize how many feathers have got to be out there? They put feathers on the top of their flies, and women are using these feathers for hair deck, like like Pippa and Kate Middleton and the family in England. They're using feathers. Well, they've been using. I've been seeing feathers all over Hollywood, right? So they'll put them, they'll clamp them into your hair. There are millions of feathers. But yeah, there's tons of feathers. There's not like but there's you know, a shortage they, of birds. They, they literally do clamp them into your hair. Yeah, and these are chicken feathers for the most part, or mm. goose feathers, or duck feathers, or turkey feathers. You know, things that people are eating. Mm hmm. And passenger strips naked, forcing pilot to turn the plane around. I know. Why would he have to turn around? Because the pilot. Because he would, uh, uh, they thought he was a danger. Like a guy with no clothes on, sitting in a seat. 
Oh. Have nothing to hide. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was well, going to say, he, he, he's a German tourist, and because he probably figured, you know, since Germany is now putting in nude hiking trails, they probably. Well, oh, really? Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, if you don't know the difference between right and wrong, you're obviously a Democrat. Or a politician. I like, I like Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>